G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam and in this video we're going to talk about setting up your very own automated tracking extract in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. I'll step through how to create the automation and the data extract activity and then use the file transfer to transfer your files from the safe house onto your FTP. So before we start building, let's have a look at the outcome we want to achieve for today's activity. We're going to create an automation which will trigger weekly. We'll then create a data extract activity followed by a file transfer activity to move that file from our safe house onto the FTP. So in total, we'll make three activities, the automation, which we'll configure to be weekly, the data extract, which we can configure to extract the open sends and clicks and so on, followed by the file transfer to move that extract into our FTP. So starting off in Automation Studio, let's jump up to the top and create ourselves a new automation. We'll call the automation tracking extract. We'll save. And of course, our extract will be a weekly extract. We can configure it as a schedule to go every seven days, which we'll do a bit later on. For now, our first activity will be our data extract. So we can drag and drop a data extract onto our canvas and choose to create a new data extract activity. For our extract, we'll call this one tracking extract. And of course, for our tracking extract, we need to give it a file name. Now, our file name is going to be tracking.zip. Now, the .zip is important because when you do a tracking extract, it extracts a .zip file. For the extract type, we'll also scroll down and choose the tracking extract. With that all done, we'll move on to our next page. And on this step, we can configure how the tracking extract will perform. We can choose the date ranges or rolling range. You can also configure how it's going to extract, which account IDs, attributes, encoding, format, and also our time zone. Most importantly, it is what we're going to extract as part of our tracking extract. So to start off with, let's choose our rolling range and we'll choose a rolling range of seven days. The last seven days will be extracted. For the accounts, I'm gonna use a star or a wildcard, which means all MIDs from enterprise down will be extract as part of our tracking extract. Need the file format as CSV. You can of course choose our time zone, which is important for our clicks, opens and send dates. Now for the best part, choosing the data we want to extract. Now for this one, I'm not going to extract bounces or conversions. I'm just going to extract our sends, opens and clicks. So I won't extract the unsubs and I won't do surveys. I will include test sends and I definitely want to include some cool data like the geo and the user agent info. I'll also include the unique URL. And I think we'll include our unique clicks and opens as well. Perfect. With that all done, let's go next. You can see our summary page for all of our tracking extract configuration and we'll go finish. With the tracking extract done, we'll move on to our file transfer. Drag and drop a file transfer tile onto the canvas and go choose. And we'll choose to create a new file transfer activity. Now this one, I'll call it tracking move. Of course, our action is going to be to move the file from the safe house onto our FTP. We'll then choose next. On this screen, we have to enter the file naming pattern from our first activity, which of course was tracking.zip. We then choose the destination to move the file to. Now I have gone ahead and created a tracking extracts file location. I've got a video which I'll link in the description below, which will show you how to create your very own file transfer locations. With that set, we can then move on to our final step, our summary. It all looks good, so we'll go finish. And that's it, our two step tracking extract is now complete. For now, let's test it out by saving the automation and then choosing to run once. Run both of our activities, choosing run and run now. Okay, and the automation has completed. So we can jump into the FTP and check out the output. So I can see that the file has transferred into my tracking folder, which was the file location that I chose on the file transfer activity. I can see that my tracking.zip file has moved in successfully. I can then download that zip file onto my desktop to check out the contents. And after downloading and unzipping the file, I've got my four CSV files that were contained in my tracking.zip. The clicks, opens, send jobs, and sent. And if you're not too sure about what each of the tracking extracts could contain, you can check out the official documentation, which I'll link in the description below, you can have a look for yourself as to what, for example, the clicks extract will give you. It gives you client ID, subscriber key, email address, and a whole lot more. And finally, we can jump back into Automation Studio and configure our schedule. 
You click on the configure button and then here we can choose to run our activity and repeat it once every week. You can choose to repeat it every Monday at midnight, starting of course as soon as you can. And we want to end after never or no occurrences running once per week. And then done. Just like that we have now got a weekly automation which will trigger our tracking extract to extract and move that file into our FTP ready for us on Monday morning. I hope you've enjoyed this quick demo of how to create your very own automated tracking extract. If you have then let me know in the comments below and make sure you give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you're notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.